Anthony Davis has Achilles tendinosis, which had him sidelined for at least three games. The Lakers were still able to go on a seven-game winning streak, and he came back. And Sunday night, they were having a marquee matchup against their newly reestablished, newly found rivals carrying over from last season's Western Conference Finals, the Denver Nuggets. Sunday night, Anthony Davis aggravated his Achilles tendinosis and he left in the second quarter and the Lakers uh, ended up getting demolished in that game. Now, this is a cause for concern. Uh, Monday afternoon, it came out that he had a calf strain. Now, we all know the calf is connected to the, connected to the Achilles and um, it's all one chain. It's a conjunction of, of lack of function there in uh, AD's Achilles area. He has tendinosis, which it's not like he has a ruptured Achilles or anything like that, but it seems like it's very touchy. It's very iffy. His Achilles is a uh, suspect right now, and he's going to get reevaluated in two to three weeks is what the team is saying. So AD has these problems with his Achilles, his tendinosis. Now he has a calf strain because when one muscle, one part of the body has to overcompensate and carry the weight and the load of another part that's not functioning properly. It causes unnecessary strain and it causes uh, the muscle to work harder than it's, than it's used to, obviously. Now, obviously I'm no expert in this, but we all know the body is just one functioning unit. So it needs to be healthy in all facets. I mean, we know that sometimes something else can pick up the weight, pick up the slack, but it can't, it can't sustain that load forever. Something's going to break. Just like we know Kevin Durant had a calf strain, and that led to a ruptured Achilles, which kept him out for an entire year. The Lakers signed AD to a five-year contract. He has four more years on this contract, and he's his. this is not a good sign. Every All the experts are saying that this could spell doom and gloom for AD's future as a, as a top-tier performer, as a top-level all-star, superstar player, and without him, the Lakers have no chance of winning the title which even though LeBron is playing great, I would say that's largely true. Now, here's the thing. LeBron James is in his, LeBron is in his 18th season and his physical conditioning is off the charts. He's unlike any other athlete we've ever seen in the sport of basketball. And he's probably one of the greatest athletes uh, in, in known sports that we've ever seen, to be honest with you. The level that he's playing at and then you look at how his body is holding up compared to someone like AD, who's significantly younger, yet his body is breaking down. It's it's genetics, I'm sure, and it's also uh, j just a, a host of other things. I mean, I'm sure AD keeps himself in top condition. He's got all the best trainers, all the best nutritionists. He's a top-level athlete. I'm sure he's in great condition, but for some reason, his body isn't able to handle the wear and tear the same way that LeBron, someone like LeBron James is, who is... Uh, a physical marvel as far as his ability to be at the peak at this level of his career after this many years, after this many miles on the engine, so to speak. So AD is definitely going to be out for at least two, if not three weeks. I say shut him down for a month. I say shut him down until he's ready. Who cares if we barely squeak into the playoffs? I mean, I don't think we're going to go down to the eighth seed. I mean, say we get in at the middle of the pack, keep him out for at least a month. Wait till April to bring him back. You know, shit, keep him out six weeks. Keep him, keep him out till mid-April. Let him come back and get back with the team uh, for three weeks, two, three weeks before the playoff push to just to get reacclimated and uh, back in the rhythm. But we don't need him to aggravate that Achilles tendinosis any further. We need him to get strong. We need him to be healthy. And we want the Lakers to repeat. Not to mention, he's got a four-year contract with the Lakers, and he wants to be the face of the franchise. LeBron James already refers to AD as though he's the captain, as though he's the number one guy now, much the way Dwayne Wade did with LeBron James back in Miami. He's passing the torch. He's handing over the mantle. But we all know LeBron James is still the best player in the league, and um, he's definitely still the leader of that Lakers team. But for me, I'm no expert, uh, but I, I know this is the popular topic, the hot topic, the hot take, but everybody's saying it, and I'm going to say it too. I agree. I think Le I think Anthony Davis needs to sit out at least a month, six weeks if, six weeks for me, you know, make sure he's healthy and um, secure the future. You know, uh, we want to repeat. We want to win again, but if he's healthy, uh, we have much better chances uh, going into the next four years of his career, his prime years as far as age is concerned. So shut it down. Don't come back. Don't don't be too tough 
where you need to go compete and you're compromising uh, your future because you want to win some regular season games. So uh, what do you think? How long should AD be shut down? And do you think he's too brittle? Do you think he's going to break down? Do you think he's going to be at the end of this Laker contract that he just signed four seasons from now? Do you think he's going to still be a top level guy in the league or will his injuries and will his body break down? And will it be a tragic story of a of a potential career unfulfilled due to to break down a physical injury, much like a Grant Hill and a, a, amongst others, Tracy McGrady and people that we saw that were great potential players. We've seen so many great potential NBA players who just couldn't live up to it because their body could not keep up with the with the demands and the wear and tear. So AD's already got his title. I know he wants more. We feel like he's just entering his prime. So I want to see him shut it down for at least six weeks and get healthy and come back for a playoff push and hopefully repeat and hopefully correct these problems within his body to where he can finish out his career and have a nice Hall of Fame career. You went up.